How to create a spreadsheet model? In today's video, I'm going to show you three ways to visualize different outcomes. Hi, my name is John and I'm from Business Focus, helping your business achieve your goals. If you do this channel, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Three ways to create a spreadsheet model. First, by creating a parameter and your model. To do that, you need to identify first what are the scope and your parameter. So here we have a sample comprised of selling price, fixed cost, and variable cost. Given the scope, we can already identify that it's a profit model. To determine profit, we need to determine total revenue and total cost. Based on the given scope of your parameters, we can already surmise that it's a profit model we need to identify. Before we can solve the profit model, we need to identify first the total revenue as well as your total cost. To determine your total revenue, we need first to identify our quantity. And right now it's blank or zero as of the moment. So to solve for total revenue, we simply multiply our quantity to our selling price. Since our quantity is zero, our revenue is zero. But if we were to produce more, let's say 100 units, generate a revenue of 1,000. Next, we need to determine its total cost by adding your fixed cost and your variable cost. In our case, fixed cost is already given, so we need just to identify total variable cost. We do that by multiplying our quantity to your variable cost per unit. So that's 4,500. So we can now determine our total cost. We simply add our fixed cost and your variable cost. And we get 104500 Now we can solve for profit. We simply subtract total revenue with total cost. And we can clearly see here that we're losing money if we only produce 100 units. The advantage of a model is we can change the quantity. In this case, we make it 1,000. And we already determined if we're making money or losing money. So 1,000 units is not enough. So if we were to increase, let's say, to 10,000 units, we're already making money. So the advantage and strength of a special model is you can see different outcomes based on the different inputs, in this case it's one. The second method is creating a one-way table. To do that, we need to create two columns. First column is your quantity column. So we'll create zero units, increments of 500, all the way to 5,000. The second column, beside your quantity, we have to reference our profit model and select both columns then go to data tab select what if analysis next is select data table next is input column range in this case quantity and select ok as you can see here you can see different outcomes based on the quantity produced so we can see here that if you produce less than 1500 units you will lose money but if you produce more than that, you will profit. And you can clearly see here that the break-even is between 1,500 to 2,000 units. The third method is creating a two-way table. To do that, we need to do the following. First is reference our profit model. Second is create the intervals as we did before. So start at zero, increments of 500, all the way to 5,000. Next is creating intervals for your row component. In this case, let's assume that your variable cost per unit can range from $30 all the way to $50. Meaning you are able to find cheaper alternatives or a more expensive alternative supplier. I would like to see here if how much are we producing, are we making money or losing money. So we select the entire column, go back to data tab, Select what if analysis and go to data table again. And again, select four columns for your quantity. In this case, for your row input, we'll be selecting variable cost per unit. And select OK. As you can clearly see here, based on the quantity and the variable cost here, the lower the variable cost is, the lower the break even is required. But on the other hand, if your variable cost increases, your break even point increases as well. You have now reached the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit the like button. For more guides, tutorials, and tips, you can check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.